For these young adults, science is personal and Flint, Michigan is home. In 2014, the city's water supply was contaminated and made national headlines as thousands of children were exposed to lead in their drinking water. Some of the water is still contaminated today. Damarian Coulter was just 13, but remembers living in fear. It was very difficult being told not to use the water. When you reach for a glass or even a bottle of water, do you still think about those years? Oh yeah, I wouldn't even dare. Some of the youngest victims of the crisis, now in high school, motivated to learn science while working with University of Michigan chemists to test the water quality in 21,000 homes. You're able in real time to, to monitor the, the status of the water there? Correct. Within the next day, we are able to um, determine the parts per billion uh, lead in the water. When residents drop off their water sample, the teens check pH levels, test for lead, and interpret the results. For the kids to come out with enthusiasm and show this community that the youth do care about them, it's, it's incredible. Nevaeh Lay is a lifelong Flint resident. She says the lab is a sign of hope for her community. It's going to just help everybody that's a Flint resident feel a little more safe. The Flint residents trust us because we've gone through you know, we've gone through it with them. A new generation committed to building a safer future. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.